Okay, maybe you guys can help me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please do subscribe. But uh, maybe you guys can help me out. As you can see, I'm getting a seal too. In, in there, the oxygen is doing good. But I'm still getting algae, like the moss right here. And the fern doing good. You can see the bubbles on there doing good. You got crypts down here, pearl weed over here. Can't remember what that carpet plant is, but it's taking over. It's doing good. Pink flamingo, you know, kind of pink. Not as good as I want it to be. <laughs> but I'm still getting algae. <clears throat> I cut back on the lights, the plants do bad, and the algae takes over. I cut up the lights, plants do good, but algae is growing also. I'm doing, I'm doing the water changes Tuesdays and Fridays, adding fertilizer after the, the same day, Tuesday and Friday. After I do the water change, I give it a while, then I add the fertilizer. CO2, good plant growing but I'm still getting this string algae now my thought is that the moss eventually will cover that and it will combat the algae because the algae just grew in there because it's wood so it's not competing against the algae to you know take the nutrients in so once the moss spreads out It'll take it in. So I got moss here. I got moss over here. Moss over there. Like moss. Just little pieces of moss everywhere. And I want it to spread. But it's taking so long. And moss is so expensive right now. I'm just. And then I, I got the buse in there too. As you can see it's growing on the buse. But the buse is doing fine. It's still growing. And it's coloring up nicely. But I'm still having this problem with the hair algae. Now. I want the plants to do good. You, can, you can't really see it, but I have red uh, Luguigia right there, dark red right there, but it's kind of like blocking the view. I'll give you a closer view after I'm done talking, but I'm getting the bubbles from the oxygen, the CO2, good. It's, it, it's working perfectly fine. I'm just getting this hair algae that I cannot seem to get rid of. No matter what I do. And the light is doing good. This is the only crypt that's growing this tall. The other ones are staying low. So the, it's doing good. And also, one more thing. If I cut back on the light, then the carpeting plant started growing up more. Up, up more. Instead of carpeting like I want it to. And the pearl weed does it too. It carpets. It's carpeting. Every once in a while, I have to trim it back, but it's carpeting. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the problem is. <laughs> you will tell me the light. Most people will tell me the light. Cut back the light a little bit. And I've tried that, and I'm having problems when I cut back the light with my plant growth. So, <sighs> I mean, maybe when, once I add it, the moss, once I finally get the moss to take over, it'll do a whole lot better. But I just wanted to show you guys the update on the tank. And, you know, maybe don't pitch me a few ideas on what I should try. Maybe, you know, maybe some movement of the plants. Because I did have these over here on this side, but I thought I wanted it a little more open. And for those plants to grow tall, closer to the CO2. Instead of these, which ends up catching the bubbles of the CO2 and the bristles, as you can see. The little bubbles get caught right there. So, you know, shoot me some ideas, you know. Thanks for watching. Oh, here comes Mr. Blue to see you guys out right there. Have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. Peace.